Hey, Newcom, I just want to send you a video and encourage you with a few things that, man, I've been encouraged by in this season. This really has been a season with no script. It's completely unscripted. And what I mean by that is really none of us know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what the next season even looks like. And yet all of us are going to enter into tomorrow and the next season 0% fear, 100% this mixture of faith and hope. And I believe that is the sweet spot of revival. I believe that's where we see the move of God. And really, I think we're already seeing it. You know, a few weeks ago, we had a move in about 48 hours from a physical campus at Newcom to this digital campus online. And we've seen God do some incredible things through what we are calling Virch, virtual church. And in the past two weeks alone, we've seen five people, five people say yes to Jesus. And as a church, that's what we're all about is to bring Jesus to the 760, our area code, and beyond. And we're seeing that happen through this platform. And so thank you so much for your comments and your partnership in that. Second of all, you know, we wanted to continue prayer in this season. There's no way we're going to push pause on that or stall on that in any way or any form. And so we came up with two things. Number one Every week in your email, we have a button that says virtual prayer. And if you click on that, it takes you to a link online. That's a virtual prayer card. And know that if you fill it out, you have the elders, you have the staff, and you have a prayer team that are praying over you and the things that you put on that virtual card. And then we had a lot of fun the last two weeks with the prayer pop-up, this drive-in style or drive-through style prayer and not only have we seen a few of you from Newcom, but we've seen people from our local community not only drive in and drive through, but actually walk up in person and stay about eight to 10 feet back. And we've been able to pray over them as well. And I want to let you know that we have online services for our kids on Sunday, for our youth and students on Wednesday nights. We are using interactive platforms to have games and online conversations with our families and kids and students as, as well. And I've heard many stories of many of you who have emailed our staff, have called people in the church and have encouraged them through voicemail or conversations or sent them letters to encourage them in the season. I've heard stories of some of you who've gone shopping, for those who are unable to go shopping and put groceries on their front porch. And let me encourage you, this is what we're about, all of this stuff. Let's stay together in this, keep being partners in this, and, and keep doing these things. Um, we are not stopping ministry, but I would say we're going to step in deeper. Um, we're going to see the movement of God in mighty ways. And we're praying even of God, what do you want us to do in this season and the next? God may be calling us to take risk in our own lives or even as a church to become um, the church he wants us to become and to bring the kingdom of God to the 760. So thank you so much for your partnership and all of that. The other thing I want to talk to you about is that I've been so encouraged and blown away of how many of you even though we haven't gathered in a physical sense, face-to-face, -face, the past three weeks, many of you have not skipped a beat in your giving. So hear me. Thank you so much for that. I want to encourage you in that. Please continue to give. Because like I said, we're not stopping ministry. Our staff is going full bore. We're going to continue to do what God has called us to do. I do want to invite some of you, I've, I've been asked a few times, well, how do I give in that season? Because we're not there on, on, on Sunday. So in this email, um, there will be a few ways, both online, so digital, on how to give and instructions, and two, how to give through the mail. And so I would encourage you, if you're part of the second group, that you have the means and you're able to give, 
and you haven't given yet, you can give through one of these platforms. I would ask you, uh, please step into that. Not only partnering with us and Virch and Prayer Pop Up and and what we're going to be doing on Easter with the drive-in style Easter services and people encouraging one another uh, by buying groceries or or phone calls, but partner with us and financially give in to the ministry. Um, and then three, if you're at a place right now that maybe you're not getting a paycheck and times are hard, times are difficult, or maybe you aren't able to go to work, I would say feel the freedom just to push pause on your giving. And, and I want you to hear that from me. If you don't have work right now, just push pause on your giving. And there's other ways for you to partner. There's other ways for you to step in uh, besides giving financially. So Newcom, hey, love you guys so much. Love what God is doing through all of us. Keep on going. Take risk. Pray and hear what God wants you to do. And keep on being the church and bring the kingdom of God here. I'll see you guys soon. Look forward to the weekend.